final three races then at Happy Valley, class four, then we go into a uh, class three, and then a class two. The other way around, class two, then class three to finish. This one's 16.50, they're headed by Regency Master. Probably roll forward, I'd thought, from Barrier 9. All you know, cheek pieces off blinkers go back on for him. Fearless far a winner, but what a tough win it was last time at over 20 to 1. David Hayes and Blake Shin team up once more. King Dragon beaten favourite in his last two starts. Thunder Stomp should roll forward from Barrier 6. Royal Race, a very consistent top four finishes, including a win in all four starts this year. Happy Ichiban, Class 5 win, of course, in distance last season. And Alloy's star, more speed from him from Barrier 3, although he's yet to win in eight starts so far. Thunder Stomp Mark is a horse that's been up at Chunk. He's had a couple of trips in actual fact in the last month. He likes to go forward, but the Speedmap Andrew has him fourth on the outer behind Alloy Star, who led up last time and then faded. I think he might try and lead up again. Regency Master will come over and sit outside him from nine. Happy Ichiban second up. His third Thunder Stomp around Big Bang Bong and then pairs back to the tail end. Fearless Fire, Kiram King Dragon, pretty cute, who led in a trial, but last on the inside. Uh, Regency Master, the first one we'll have a look at. He's the one at the back as we look at it. Uh, Angel My Eyes is in the last, so you can keep an eye on him as well if you like him later on. But nice piece here, um, Zach Purton aboard, and he's been a very consistent horse. Uh, just a little bit awkward from barrier number nine. Uh, this was huge run last start, as Andrew just said, fearless fire. He's got barrier number five to contend with, so a lot better draw. He drew 11 last time, was four or five wide the whole way and still won. So as long as that has been taken out of him, if he does run up to that again, he should go close in this one. And uh, Royal Race, another one that's going nicely enough, Joe Marrera aboard. Uh, that's him in the red saddle cloth closest to us. So his work's been good leading into it as well. OK, we'll have a look at Royal Race in a moment or so also. Let's start off, though, with uh, Regency Master and Fearless Fire, but beaten on this occasion, a Fearless Fire, as was Regency Master Mark behind V Chevalier. He was. He carries the 133 pounds again, Regency Master. Drew Barrier number 11 in this. He's got nine, so it's a wide draw again with the 1,650 metre start. He's in good form, Regency Master Paul. Play-wise is in earlier on, on in the night and looks pretty hard to beat. And Fearless Fire came out of this race and won. Yeah, he was only beaten late, wasn't he, uh, Regency Master? So it was still a good good run. I mean, the key's barrier nine. Zach will have to get him into a good position early. If he does, I think he can win. Yeah, he was beaten favourite on that occasion. I'm sure he'll be popular here once more. This is Royal Racer and Hatchy, Happy Ichiban amongst the chasing pack pool, trying to run down Lady First. Got really well back, didn't he, um, Royal Racer? And he hit the line nicely. So I think he's one of the main dangers to um, Regency Master. Uh, Happy Ichiban, he's just been running fairly. He's a one-hit wonder at this stage. This was a race where Lady First got out and was just trucking at the 600 metre mark and those at the very back struggled to make ground. Royal Racer did it late. I don't think they'll run the race this week like that week. All right, OK. Well, Fearless Fire, we've talked a little bit about him already. Let's hear from the man on board last time and this. It's Blake Shin. Blake Fearless Fire, well done with the win on him last time out. And it was a tough performance from the draw, wasn't it? It sure was, yes. He uh, drew wide, um, was basically wide all the way. Um, Tremendous effort, you know, and uh, hopefully he can keep the winning form going um, tomorrow night. You've had a bit to do with him this season. His previous wins have been over 1,200 metres, but now as he gets older, does he feel like a horse that needs 1,650 in these sort of longer trips? Uh, look, he's given that indication, you know. Um, his form um, prior to coming to Hong Kong suggested that he'd like to stretch out a little bit in distance. Um, so David's um, training the horse that way and once he's got to his maybe his optimum distance in 1650 he's coming into his own and he seemed to prove that last time although he was wide he seemed to enjoy getting into a, a good rhythm flowing the whole way and um, his stamina kicked in at the end so you know who knows 1600 maybe a little bit further might be his optimum and you've done a lot of work with the horse both leading into that last win and since then are you happy with how he is heading into wednesday uh, yes, I'm extremely happy with him. I think the horse has um, come through the run really well. I thought he was going good leading into last start. Um, I think he's come through the run great. David Hayes has got the horse going tremendously well and I'm expecting another big performance. And your win on him is one of four winners that you've had this month. Do you feel like you're gaining a bit of momentum now? A little bit. You know, I'm still not getting a huge book of rides, so it's, it's a bit hard uh, going to the races with... Um, you know, two and three and four rides, but the rides that I've had, um, fortunately enough, I've been able to, to capitalise on those and um, get a few wins on the board. So hopefully that will um, build some traction and get some, you know, bigger books for me and that'll create better opportunities and, um, 
you know, it's all a matter of just trying to, you know, kick, uh, kick the winners home here and hopefully we can keep doing that. Oh, I'm blessed. One of those recent winners uh, for Blake was very impressive for, on the weekend. Uh, Paul, what are your thoughts on Fearless Far going back to back? Well, I've got him in the numbers. I wanted to keep him safe because the horse uh, was such a strong run last time. And if he does repeat that, I think he can be right in the finish. It definitely got him in also. Massive performance. As long as it hasn't flattened him that three wide run, there's no reason why he can't figure again. He's up six pounds for the win. All right. Regency Master, Paul, with the big weight, still a favourite though. Yeah, and I've got him on top, uh, Regency Master. He just needs a little bit of luck from the draw, but he's been very consistent. Uh, the eight in there for second rule race, he won't get as far back as he did last start. The two, all you know, he's been running well, and the blinkers will go back on him. The cheek pieces will come off. Uh, Chad Schofield aboard there, and then the four fearless fire. One, eight, two, four. Very keen on Royal Racer. Turn around in the weights, or I'm big pulling the weights over the toppy in Regency Master. Joe Marira Casper founds. He draws seven. I think he'll be just at them late, and that pulling the weights could be telling. Regency Master goes in for second. He carried 133 pounds into third last time. Fearless Fire is good. Blake Shin and David Hayes, they could strike up a pretty good combination here if this carries on with Harmony and Blessed and that win of Fearless Fire. And all you know, 8 1, 4 and 2. We've all got the one, two and eight in our numbers. I've included Happy Ichaban as well. I thought he was interesting from a good gate here in the sixth.